I have been described as fair-haired and good-looking. I was on a plane with many other boys, going to a conference for our scout troop. The plane went down and we ended up on this island. I was alone for a little while with a boy that we called Piggy, and I was not very considerate of him then. Now, however, I realize that he was the only other reasonable person on the island, other than me. I do wish that I had treated him better than I did. Anyway, we found a white conch shell and blew on it, and a horde of small children would come out of the forest here and there, and there was also a choir of boys. So, we all gathered and I was elected the chief. Jack the bloodthirsty, Reedhead that was the leader of the choir, desperately wanted to be chief, but he still respected me. I was surprised I was elected chief, as I have several flaws. Obviously, I do not have very good leadership skills, as almost everybody left my tribe and joined Jacks later on. I also cannot hunt for my life, and this was one of the things that drove people away. Lastly, I can be a poor sport. If something doesn't go my way, I throw a fit. I guess you could also call me a control freak. However, these are balanced by several strengths that I have. I am reasonable, I hardly ever become irrational. I also am very considerate of most people, and I get along well with the little ones. I was also able to construct rudimentary shelters. Some have said that I represent the city folk. I am sophisticated, I am not a hunter, but I can do some craftsmanship, and I can get along with other people well. Talk about symbols. I don't show my true feelings very often, however when I do it is usually because I feel very strongly about something. A fantastic example of this is when we were rescued and I just wept in front of the officer, despite being British. The island was a very humbling experience.